Hello folks, uh, Signoria and Catalover here. I am here to try and teach you how to uh, do some basic uh, magnetization. So uh, what you see in front of you is basically the uh, tools you will need. You have the uh, your hobby knife, uh, a pin vise, and uh, various sizes of drill bits. Now I'll have three drill bits for today. One is the uh, 132. Uh, the other is 116 and the last one is 1 8th. Now uh, the uses for the drill bits is the 132 is for the primary uh, drilling of the hole which will which I will explain why you have to do later uh, and then the other two drill bits are actually in correspondence to the size of the magnets. And as you can see we have a 1 8th by 1 16th uh, set of magnets and lastly a uh, 1 16th by 1 32 set of magnets. Now, uh, the jack that we're going to be uh, magnetizing today is, well, it's not Signarian. A uh, good friend of mine uh, asked me to magnetize his jack, so we're actually going to be magnetizing a retribution jack kit. To be specific, the Wrath retribution jack kit. So, uh, as you can see here, I've already uh, pre-assembled the areas that don't need to be uh, magnetized. Uh, basic super glue and stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm only going to be doing one configuration for now, uh, and that'll be the uh, Banshee configuration. So, uh, here are the parts. There we go. The two swords, the cannon, and the head. Alright. So, uh, we should get started with the hands, since those are the easiest to make. Now for the hands, I plan to use a 1 8 by a 1 16th the 1 8 by 1 16th magnets. So we'll start with the right hand. All right. Now, uh, of course, the first step when you're gonna magnetize is uh, you need to drill a hole so that the magnet can uh, snugly fit into the model piece. Now you don't just simply grab your drill bit and start to drill a hole because what will happen then is your drill bit will probably slip and uh, you're going to uh, drill off center. So what I like to do is I start off first by uh, scoring an area in where I want to drill the hole. So in this case, smack in the center, just basically push the hobby knife in to create a small impression. It might not be visible, there's a very small impression near the center of that. Right now the next step is once you have that hole is you then get your drill bit. Now the size of the drill bit that I'm using is as I mentioned a while ago one of the smallest drill bit sizes that I have. It's the uh, 1 16th by uh, 1 16th inch. Now the reason that I'm using the uh, 1 16th first is as I mentioned a while ago is that I need to make a primary hole. Okay, so what does the primary hole do? Um, basically, uh, this is something that I learned from fabric, uh, met metal fabrication, is that if you try to drill a hole, a big hole immediately without having a smaller hole drilled first, uh, you're going to encounter much more resistance. So I'll start off by drilling a small hole using the mark that I placed as a guideline and just drill a small hole towards it. And it's important to try to keep your drill bit at a level so that your uh, hole isn't uh, too skewed. Now how deep the hole is supposed to go is about how deep your magnet would be. So in this case it's going to be uh, around uh, 1 16th of an inch deep. You can go slightly deeper. Uh, the limitation of course is you don't go through and through with your plastic models. Alright, now I'm going to start to see that you're, when you're drilling that your plastic is going to get everywhere and you're not going to get any deeper. You have to clean your, the piece, just wiping it off at the same time the drill bit and you just keep drilling again. Okay, there you go. I 
think that hole should be uh, deep enough. So uh, I'll now switch drill bits. And so as you can see, I'm now using the uh, 1 8 drill bit. Now that you've got the hole ready, it's time to uh, dry fit the magnets. Alright, now that you have your hole, uh, you get your magnet and you get another drill bit, preferably the smaller drill bit, and then you actually balance the magnet onto the tip of the drill bit. This allows you to do a basic dry fitting if the hole isn't the right size, so yeah it is, and pull the magnet out when you don't need to. So currently the hole is not uh, deep enough at the moment so uh, you have to keep drilling until that uh, more or less is uh, flat towards the main body. Alright, so uh, once you have the hole deep enough and the specifications are right just need to attach the magnet so to attach the magnet you simply add a small drop of super glue onto the tip of it So, and then you insert it into the hole that you just dug. So, there. Now, there we go. Now you wait for that to dry. And you've just attached your first magnet. So now all you have to do is uh, repeat it onto the opposite okay. end. So as you can see, I've already uh, drilled a hole for the matching right arm. Uh, before we put the magnet in, there's a little trick I'd like to show you all. Uh, I've often attached magnets in the uh, opposite polarity, meaning that instead of uh, the piece snapping towards where it's supposed to go, it actually repels. So one trick that I learned is that before you, uh, you install the magnet onto the piece, you mount it first and then you sort of like make it try to go towards the opposite part. Now you see that it flipped, that means that it's repelling. So at least from there, you'd know if you were attaching it into the right uh, right way. If the magnet is uh, repelling, so in this case like this, that means that if you attach it into the piece, the repelling side would be embedded and the attracting side would be on the right area. So uh, just a little something to keep in mind to uh, avoid uh, wrong polarities and such. Alright, so uh, as you can see I've already uh, attached the uh, magnet to the uh, opposite arm so if you did it right it should be able to do this and there you have it. You'll notice there's some space uh, it's because the hole was uh, slightly off-centered and that's uh, kind of my fault but overall uh, not so bad right so uh, I'm just gonna do the uh, other arm then uh, when I come back I'll uh, discuss how to use the uh, smaller magnets specifically for the head since this is really really tiny right, and uh, there you have it as you can see I've attached uh, both hands already Now the uh, the uh, next thing that I will be uh, attaching would be a magnet for the uh, gun. So uh, I'll be attaching a magnet here, and I'd like to show you the other connecting piece. So uh, this is the front of it, and at the back end of it, I'll be attaching a magnet probably around here see that's where the square connects to uh, this square right here alright now the uh, size of the magnet that I'll be using is the uh, smaller magnet so uh, let's see how that all right works. so uh, I finished attaching the uh, 
the magnet there, the small magnet, and I attach the uh, partner magnet there, and of course now it attaches like, oops, sorry, like so. There you go. See. Right. So the uh, last part would be the uh, the head. Now I'd use the same size of magnet and implant it under that hole right there. Uh, the challenge would be actually on the actual headpiece. Right. So this bump here is actually what's supposed to go into the hole but since we're going to replace that with a magnet we will probably have to uh, trim this out and replace it with a with a magnet as well so that it can connect to that uh, easily all right let's see how that goes all right and so you guys can see i've uh, attached a small magnet into that hole right there i actually had to drill a little bit uh, just to get it uh, nice and deep now on the opposite side as you can see here's the uh, uh, here's the head and you'll notice that the bump is uh, still kind of there so what I did there was I filed off a little bit of the tip so that I could have a flat surface where I could uh, start drilling to All right now it attaches like that and the head is uh, slightly skewed to the left since uh, it's not level but that's actually okay I think it gives the model some uh, sort of uh, more dynamic look All right. so now with all of the uh, parts uh, attached there's the gun there you have it the Banshee.